my original better. This trigger feels a little bit more stiff on this one. Just looking at frequencies, firearms, I prefer the original look better. But there's a reason why that uh, Daniel Defense decided to go with the rail is so I put an accessory light here. But on this particular front, the light would be down here. So it makes sense why Daniel Defense did it that way. But I like the look of that. That's just all the aesthetics. That's just the magazine releases. The same. One of the big questions that people talk about on the do the magazines, are the magazines cross compatible? It is not compatible on the Hudson version. This is my Hudson magazine. It will fit in the Daniel. And it will fire. I'll just take one shot to prove that it will work. So you'll see that the Hudson magazines do work exactly as advertised. A uh, couple other differences. The trigger gallop in here. And the trigger here. One of the other things is this trigger to me seems a little bit more stiff. Probably because it's not broken in, but I have a lot of in this firearm. The sights are a little different right here. Both the front and rear. And if you turn the rear, the thing is optic ready. I felt a little more oil in this one because this is an outer frame. This one is a steel frame. So I felt a little more force in this one. This one considered a compact. It is basically a Glock 19 size versus a full size. So this will be more comparable with a Glock 19. I can't show the internals right now, but the, but the guide rod, the recoil springs are pretty much different. The takedown mechanisms are totally different. You have a mechanism right here. And on this side, that you actuate it like pr pretty similar to like a Glock. This is a different size of the band right here. Kind of reminds you of a, let's say like a SIG or whatnot. You press press out here and turn down. But this is a little bit more Glockish. So which one do you like between the two of them? With that said, happy shooting, stay safe, hashtag 2A.